after configuring the phase one, we should continue to configure phase two. In the phase two, we need to use AS192 and we should use SHA as a hash method and we should use ESP. Furthermore, we should use Cisco123 as the authentication key. So let's do that configuration. When it comes to defining the phase two parameters, encryption method and hash method, we do that in something that is called a transform set. The command to configure a transform set is crypto IPsec IKB1 transform set. And a transform set needs a name. It can be any name, it's only local significant. My transform set. And after that, we define two different parameters. And the best thing to do here is use the question mark to see what we have available. First of all, in the last video, I mentioned AH authentication header as a protocol. And in this version of the firewall, AH is not available anymore. So if you run an older version of the Cisco ASA than I do, you might have parameters here that starts with AH and a dash. And my recommendation is not to use them because AH is not encrypting the data. It's only protecting it for alternation. And you should always use ESP. And in this version, that's the only choice we have. So we need to define two strings after the transform set name. The first string is an encryption method. And these are the five choices we have available. And since I have chosen and agreed upon with myself of using AS192, I should use that. And after that, I should use one of these hash methods. And null and none is not recommended to use. You should use either MD5 or SHA. And I have chosen to use SHA in this case because it's more secure than MD5. So I put that afterwards and I press enter. Now I have created a crypto transform set with the name my transform set that says it should use AS192 as an encryption and SHA as a hash method, which is called authentication in this configuration. So my transform set will be used later on in the configuration to relate to the combination of using AS192 and SHA for phase two. Next step is to define the pre-shared key. The pre-shared key, Cisco123, is defined in something called tunnel group. The tunnel group is a global configuration that is not tied to the crypto map either. But since we use the peer IP of the remote peer as the tunnel group name, it will find the pre-shared key by matching the IP address of the remote peer. The command to do that is tunnel group and the name of the tunnel group must be the IP address of the remote peer, 10.1.2.168.201. And after that, I need to define which type it is. And in this case, the type is ipsec lan to lan When I, in an earlier video, configured any connect with connection profiles, I did that from ASDM. But what happened behind the hood was that the connection profile actually was a tunnel group with a name. So there are tunnel groups called default web VPN and so on. But for configuring lan to lan tunnels and a pre key, we need to create a tunnel group with the public IP address of the remote peer as the name and ipsec lan to lan as a type, lan to lan. And after doing that, we use command tunnel group 10.1.2.168.201 and to define IPsec attributes. And the attribute to add is IV1 pre shared key. The parameter here is the pre shared key in clear text, which is Cisco123. It will not be visible when you look at configuration later on, it will be replaced by asteriscus but it is stored locally internally so it can be retrieved as Cisco 123. And we define it in clear text here, like that. So now we have configured a crypto IKV1 transform set, like that. Now we have configured this transform set and we have also configured a tunnel group. And the tunnel group we have configured here is the public IP address of the remote peer. And this is Cisco 123. So those were the two different phase two parameter steps to configure. And in the next step, we will continue the configuration.